In this edition of Down to Earth, we would be focusing on specifically the mass extinction and what would be the species which would be worst affected. To begin with, Maratwada region. Now here, we, women reclaimed the part of their farmland of their choice and there were certain sowing species, for example, pearl millet, sesam and uh, green gram which were grown. They started a small kitchen garden and used buffalo dung and goat droppings for natural fertilization. Uh, now the women that came across this region from various districts to form a group of non-profit organization which was known as Chetana Vikas to promote the participative ecosystem management and as part of the Kisan Mahila Kisan Morcha Manch. The next is the Russia-Ukraine crisis. In wake of that, we have seen the Brent crude, uh, the oil which is extracted mainly from the North Sea and is now traded at a very high price of $125 per barrel. Coal has increased to $437 uh, per ton. Also, we have seen that Russia is major supplier of uh, liquefied natural gas mainly to Europe. And if this continues, uh, US and Iran, though they believe that they would be able to meet the production but it is unlikely to close the gap as a result the countries are now moving towards coal as one of the uh, alternatives but coal is again a uh, phased out fossil and therefore is not recommended the other way is uh, to focus on renewable sources but that would require a while for other nations uh, amidst this crisis we have seen that russia and ukraine together account for one fourth of the total world wheat production and ukraine is one of the major produ producers of sunflower oil and corn now the countries which are major buyer include Egypt from Ukraine and these countries have been significantly affected. This can lead to food related uh, security issues and crisis issues mainly in Egypt and Malaysia. The next is China has banned the cryptocurrency. In September 2021, the mining of currencies like Bitcoin has been banned because it increases the carbon footprint. And it is believed that Bitcoin mining consumes nearly 130 terawatt hours of power every year which is one tenth of the total energy used by countries like India. Uh, the next is with line of uh, the declining cases of uh, severity in the COVID. We have seen that the uh, vaccinations have been wasted. Nearly 9.5% or 65 million doses uh, have been wasted in United States. Guatemala, a million, more than a million doses have been wasted uh, in uh, the given time uh, also it is from the Sputnik uh, vaccine the next is the IPCC assessment report here we have seen the sixth assessment report which has been published as AR6 we have already covered a separate lecture on it the first report was the physical science basis the second report talked about inequality under communities and countries for vulnerability of climate change impacts the poor typically have low carbon footprints but are affected because of the consequences and and they have lack to access the adaptations. The most vulnerable areas are the South, uh, the Global Southeast, the Central and the West Africa, South Asia, Micronesia and Central America. Also, uh, the uh, population which is highly vulnerable is around 3.3 billion which has been classified by IPCC. The next is the uh, extreme event. So as we can see, extinction uh, extreme events have become more common and their extremities are further going to increase the survival uh, extremes are again seen in the coming decades and then we have the recovery time which is reducing the magnitude and the duration has been increasing for such uh, cases the next is what can be the way ahead the way ahead is to reduce the global temperature rise to the pre-industrial level and that's one of the ways through which the impact could be reduced also uh, with the climate change we are witnessing severe floods heat waves wildfire and habitat destruction more frequent cases of these are now witnessed across the globe plastic trap is again important concern we are trying to uh, come on to a resolution to end plastic pollution by 2024 and this is a worldwide resolution there have been intergovernmental uh, negotiations committees coming on this line and 11 environmental agreements either in force or under discussion are there to focus on that the next is to save biodiversity we are talking about 
what can be the ways so if we talk about the greenhouse gases emitted it's around 2 billion tons the production of plastic is 460 billion million tons and 50 percent of the plastic is single use plastic that can be managed 90 percent of the plastic goes into lump, uh, uh, landfills which is either dumped or incinerated and mismanagement leads to 12 million tons of uh, plastic into ocean every year so those are some of the major concerns that need to be taken into account now uh, in india reliance industry takes 40 percent of the stake in plastic ecosystem in India and under the new guidelines of the EPR extended producer responsibility we are introducing the concept of plastic credits for industries with uh, which the companies have a liability to collect the plastic waste equivalent to the amount that they generate in a year. So India is one of the largest uh, consumer goods company uh, and Dabar which is one of the largest companies here is talking about getting plastic neutral by fulfilling the extended uh, the extended producer responsibility. Groundwater has been depleting and three of the world's top five groundwater extracting countries uh, which includes India have over exploitation of groundwater resources which is a significant threat. So as we can see the annual uh, extractable amount and and the annual extraction is significantly higher. In 2022, we are, uh, in 2020, we have seen 62% of the groundwater extraction. And these are the areas which are overexploited. So we can see the regions which are overexploited in the west and the uh, south. The next is recharging the groundwater. 89% gets depleted in agriculture, 11% for domestic and industrial consumption, 57% of the rainfall during the monsoon season can be recharged, 19% from non-monsoon recharge and then we have uh, understanding that these blocks are getting uh, unsafe and these numbers have significantly declined over the years. Now welfare votes on banking, uh, we have the Labharti work which was discussed and the various uh, subsidies given to them and the various benefits given to them have been mentioned here so those would be available in the handouts the next is the mass extinction which is one of the most important coverages for this time this mass extinction talks about that what are the events occurring right now the loss in population the shrinking of the distribution area half of the species moving uh, towards the pole or higher elevation to have a new lifestyle and the impact on the common man and we are focusing that we are entering into the anthropocene epidemic Epoch, the epoch which has been named for the first time on the life of human beings. So there have been direct and indirect drivers for biodiversity losses and they have significantly affected the lifestyle. So there are either the terrestrial freshwater or marine ecosystem, there has been climate change, land use change, pollution which has been affecting it. Uh, there is decline of species, ecological communities, uh, the biomass and the species abundance have been affected. We have wild mammals which have fallen by 82% and the nature of the indigenous population has declined. The first extinction was called as the ice age and the, here 85 percent of the species went extinct this was in the uh, odo vician era then was the devonian age during the second extinction 75 percent of all the species were extinct and there were fluctuating levels of uh, global warming then we had the third extinction, the Premian Age, where 95% of the species went extinct. Uh, here it was the asteroid had hit a planet or the air was pulverized with materials which make it inhabitable. The fourth extinction was where 80% of the species went extinct and geological activities like high carbon dioxide, global warming, acidified oceans were some of the reason. Fifth extinction was because of a meteor crash in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico and led to high volcanic activity, 76 percent of the species were lost. The sixth extinction which is believed in the Holocene epoch uh, talks about 99 percent of the species which have been lost. The ongoing processes like climate change and uh, invasive species are a result of it. Now if we talk about the extinction since uh, 1500 we have seen the highest extinction in terms of mammals followed by uh, reptiles and birds and then we have uh, the, the birds and then we have the reptiles, fishes and the amphibians which has been seen. 
Also, the fall in the survival has been highest for coral reefs. Then we have seen a significant fall in the cycads, which is another species of plants. Uh, now, under the plant species, 50,000 plant species exist in India. 23% of those are endemic, and two in every 100 flowering plants is vulnerable or is facing extinction. Gymnosperms, which are having the naked seeds, are exposed. Leaf-like structures, which are known as bracts, they are having cones. Uh, Angiosperms are the flowering plants. Bryophytes are those which are found in damp atmosphere. Pteridophytes are cryptograms, that means they neither have seeds nor flowers and do hidden reproduction. In our expected class, we have talked about how a cryptogramic plant uh, garden has been established in Dehradun and Uttarakhand. Uh, then we have algae, bacteria, fungi, lichens, and some other species. Now, if we talk about the known species and the endemic species in India, here is the list of the species which is specifically found in India and is endemic to India but there are huge number of threatened species from angiosperms and gymnosperms which are found in India. Also in the animal species, 4 of the 35 global biodiversity hotspots are in India. Western Ghats, Nicobar, Assam and Meghalaya and Eastern Himalayas are part of it. Then we have the percentage endemic species which are present in each of the category which has been mentioned here. Now uh, what is important, there has been a huge loss, mass extinction, uh, anthropogenic activities, human induced climate change and invasive uh, reasons are some of the reasons through which this would be affected. The next is fecal sludge management in India. Few states are talking about rural management and urban fecal sludge treatment plants. Uh, Europe and Chhattisgarh. Uh, sorry, uh, Odisha and Chhattisgarh have been talking about urban plants for rural waste and there have been few states which have been declared ODF free. Uh, the various districts, how they have been upscaling themselves for uh, the recycling provisions and the treatment plants in Karnataka or uh, uh, the regions of uh, Odisha have been important. So states have been focusing on formalizing the uh, process system for fecal sludge waste treatment, uh, specifically in Lalso town in Alwar uh, in Rajasthan where this was constructed for the urban population in the rural vicinity. Uh, now we are also talking about organic farming. Right now only 2% of the area is under organic farming and we are focusing on a state where more farmers now practice it. So uh, the farmer producer organizations are focusing on uh, various ways for growing rice millets and pulses. Ajivika Bhumika, Puddukota Organic, Sahaj Aharam are some of the chains through which we are working on those and increasing the organic inorganic uh, ratio or the rate at which the organic is growing is important. So we are also uh, focusing on micro food processing enterprises which is one district one product up approach to allow farmers to have a benefit of the market produce, the organic market produce that they are doing. Now, Moderna uh, along with two other startups, Bio, BioNTech of Germany has tied up with Pfizer for new mRNA vaccine. Now this has been uh, based on a lipid nanoparticle which was developed by Arbutus Biopharma and the uh, delivery of this genetic material uh, was given to Moderna. However, Moderna has been under various uh, issues since then and WTO has been uh, talking about proposal to weigh the intellectual property rights to help uh, this grow further to other regions. Then we have, talk, we have talked about some other important uh, issues. For example, uh, Chamraj Nagar district in Karnataka, landslides have caused the collapse of the White Stone Hill in Gundalpet and uh, this has affected the local area. There have been a bullworm infestation in the state in Punjab and Haryana for the cotton. Uh, in Australia, evacuation of the people has been asked because of the heavy rains. Also, we have seen that a uh, legal right of nature uh, uh, legislation has been passed in Panama. In Honduras, open pit mining has been banned. In Malaysia, we are uh, we are focusing on drafting a law to regulate the carbon trading by 2022. So those were some of the other news that have been discussed in this session. So thank you for joining and for more information on current affairs courses and uh, general studies for UPSC, please follow the link below. The complete preparation material is available there. Thank you very much.